Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be a reading for the collective. Collective, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you get alerts when my videos are posted. Collective, if you wish to donate towards my channel, all the links are in the description box below. All right, Collective, let's see what we got on the table for you. Okay, a cassette. So something old, some outdated thinking, some outdated conditioning. Replaying events over and over in your head. So thinking about something from the past that could be being very nostalgic. Um, we also have keys on a ring. Too many options. A decision has to be made here, collective. Um, something that is unconventional. Um, Stringing along, stringing someone along, or someone stringing you along, collective, meaning they're not being totally honest and they're trying to hold on to you until they figure out what it is that they want to do. Um, we have a collision of beliefs, styles, and attitudes. So something that is totally different than something you've ever done or have ever been in. We also have the palm tree here. There's some stability, some security happening, um, some growth, some endurance, and being flexible so somebody wants something that is stable they don't want something that's flighty and keys on a ring is something that's very much flighty it's like a person not giving you an answer to are we going steady or like it's like what are we doing what are we doing here and something about something that's old replaying in your head so that could be like the way things were before in an old relationship and you thinking that everybody is the same or that could be the whatever situation that you're in right now something that happened continually keeps resurfacing because it's not being dealt with properly okay and maybe you and this person could just be too different all right let's see what cards we got here all right we got the sewer maiden your sensuality is beautiful okay so i'm getting a vibe of somebody not liking the way you carry yourself and maybe they might be trying to convince you to change that might be what they're saying the hold up is meanwhile back at band camp your sensuality is beautiful it's a part of you and you should be proud of who you are so magical space clearing time meaning your energy your space your life, it might be time to let this situation go. Um, also acknowledging the red flags and seeing things for what they are is important here right now, collective. So someone, someone could be giving you major red flags and it's like you just not wanting to see it. You wanted to hold on because I love him or I love her, but either way, either way a situation is like beating a dead horse. It's going nowhere. Y'all are continue to keep bumping heads over old stuff or this person is just not willing to change a behavior at, that they have. And why should they? Because just go be with somebody that is exactly what you want, collective. All right, let's see what we got here. So somebody may be just now getting in tune and in touch with their emotions, coming to find out who they are. It might have been a period of healing here for you, collective. Or it needs to be a period of healing, okay? Let's see what we got for the collective. All right. We got a Prince of Pentacles. So, basically, the Apprentice, apprentice card. Um, learning something new and moving on into something different. somewhere, Something different that makes money for you. Also, like, new possibilities happening. Being very diligent. Um, and nurturing your, because you got an ox here, so that's some, like being very patient, nurturing your opportunities, trying to figure out the new direction as to what you go, where you're going to go, how, what direction do you need to go with this money thing? All right, let's see what we got here. All right, we got a two of swords and a knight of swords. Two of swords is definitely something being blocked. You could potentially feel like your money is being blocked, your time is being blocked, feeling stuck, a stalemate, inability to see the truth, 
quite frankly, it could also be you um, holding yourself up, collective, for whatever this is that you think. So maybe waiting on whatever this connection is or the situation that you thought that you wanted, but it's not creating you any type of security, any type of stability. And it's just totally not the thing that you want to do with your life to be holding and waiting on somebody else to get themselves together. Okay, I totally like this. So you have the Fool and the Nine of Pentacles coming out at the same damn time. The Nine of Pentacles, and I'm going to just go back because it's a new start when it comes to that. Bringing things into fruition, fulfillment, wealth, abundance, enjoying what you have, the fruits of your labor, um, achieving your goals collective, a whole brand new energy with the Fool being there. It's like the world is your oyster or, you know, things being at your fingertips so manifesting a situation you got a knight of swords here and that is committed to the true focus driven what do you want to do like really understanding what this is because there's something pertaining to your money collective that maybe you're either not like it or it's becoming different and so like rebuilding starting from the ground the ground up so laying a firm foundation and really putting in the hard work to make this thing work Okay, we got a nine of swords here. Nine of pentacles, nine of swords, 99. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. All right, so you probably really not worried about whatever this person's talking about um, or whatever the situation is because you more focused on your money, your time, your energy, your spirit, getting your mind right. And it's like almost... Like understanding, commit, communication, communication is key. So something about the communication being blocked off with this person, maybe this person don't communicate properly. Not something that you really want to wholly, fully deal with. Yeah, because you got a strong vibe of you being very focused, new beginnings, new businesses, um, a level up in your energy collective. And it's not looking like um, that's love because ain't no love out here. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. So you could have abandoned the whole situation, went in a different direction. Meanwhile, somebody trying to replace some old shit and trying to make you think something different. All right, you got to start. Okay, a vision. Uh, and, and you may have literally had a vision about what you, what's about to happen. But you have a direction as to where you're going and how you're going to get there. What you're going to do when you get there. Um, what you want your future to look like. What you want your, like, <laughs> next everything. It's like planning. Planning in motion. So planning while you're actually making this shit happen, okay? Collective. I like it. All right, let's see. What else is on the collective's plate and on the table? Let's see. All right, you definitely have options and choices. Like you, you, you can decide. You, it's like free will being activated one hundred and ten percent, and you moving around some stuff to see where it is that you, you know, like really what is it that I want to do, um, and putting a plan into play. So, um, mm, poetry in motion. You are amazing. You are literally out here trying to make sure that you stay focused and stay on task so a brand new pathway opening up for you collective and moving forward mm, okay the energy is great surrounding you and it's like you totally have a love for everything new or you just changing everything around you in order to get something you've never had you got to do some stuff that you've never done and you're fully putting that into play okay collective look at you so that's also giving me the vibe like you have people looking at you in a whole nother light. Like, you know, you um, and, and I see the world here, the universe. So, like I said, a total new level up. Um, you got people out here looking at you in a whole new light. Like, um, OK, <laughs> I see you. You go. OK. And it's also giving me the vibe like you got some older energy. So that might be where that cassette tape is coming from, too. Some old energy trying to spring itself back up. OK. Yeah, you got some old people popping back up. So you could be getting phone calls, text messages, DMs from some old people trying to figure out, hey, what's good? They see you out here uh, growing and glowing. 
All right, Ace of Cups. What I say about this new shit? New beginnings, new stuff. Okay, so uh, it's old people circling, but it's some new people circling too. So you got some uh, some new people maybe uh, sitting on the sidelines paying attention. Ace of Cups, it signifies connections, new beginnings, emotional energy, the excitement of new friendships, and you got a movement chariot there, movement happening in your energy. So personal growth, which we already been talking about, and I don't know why I'm hearing bench warmer. So you got some people that you've been sitting on a bench, and maybe that might be also the thing um, that's coming up, something that's old, somebody that's been... Oh, you, you friend zone somebody collective. <laughs> okay. So you friend zone, friend zone some people, but yet they trying to get up off the bench. Those uh, friend zones are trying to come up off the bench. Or them bench warmers are trying to come up off the bench. They trying to get into the game. Okay. <laughs> Look, this chariot keeps wanting it, like it's making itself very present. So there's a, a heavy energy of movement, like literally like pushing you pushing you forward it's a momentum now is the time all right i like it higher higher level energy coming into play um yeah finding your purpose finding your perspective your uh your spiritual perspective on things it's like literally you haven't you being in healing self-motivational mode like so maybe reading self-help books or just watching stuff online that pertains to how to become a better person how to cleanse and clear your energy how to just how to so you might be doing some how to shit how to um renovate this so you could be changing some stuff around in your crib around at your house you know crib is house so you know i said that but let me you know let me not be too hood brown here with it Okay, so also, see what I'm saying? Look at that. Changing your ways. So you might have uh, started from the bottom. Now we're here. You might be changing changing your tax bracket, changing your time zone. Okay, I like that. So you just flip the switch. <laughs> Definitely like that type of energy collective. So your sensuality is beautiful. Paying more attention to how you look, how you dress, how you smell. Okay. I, I totally like this vibe. It's like new, 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 new energy, new, new vibe, new, new me, new, new person, new phone number. Who this? Okay. So you might've changed your number on somebody, on some people. And some people trying to figure out how they are able to, can they get a hold of you? Some people trying to get in contact and in touch with you collective. Meanwhile, it's like, um, your vibe is you on you. And then you got this Ace of Swords out here. Uh, okay, some more new stuff. New ideas, new clarity. Um, yeah, more like... A, you you are really, really trying to think of what, what you want to do the next level. New ideas. new. So if you have a business, yeah, putting and putting new stuff into your business... Um, I totally like your energy collective. New ideas coming out of nowhere. Seeing things from a higher perspective. All right, collective. I like that energy from you. So let's see what this person um, or these people who's sitting on the sidelines, sitting on a bench want to say to you because you got heavy... Um, some people trying to spin a block type energy. You got people trying to get up off the fucking bench energy. So something about your spiritual... Your spiritual pathway your spiritual uh energy yeah you totally are glowing and growing collective and people see it and they feel it so it is giving off a vibe that is very attractive so um sewer made in your sensuality is beautiful i'm getting fierce type vibe something about thursday is significant or important all right so your level up or your glow up let me say it like that is totally attracting some energy collective. All right, blessed and highly favored. Somebody in your energy has no accountability, maybe for what they have done and the reason why you walked away from them collective. Um, somebody says you want to make them be a better person. 
and yeah being blessed and highly favored because like i said your glow up is looking real real good you saying or somebody saying something about a um situation was stupid the way that it came to an end or the way that it happened was stupid so that's not something that you're trying to worry about or something that you want in your energy so that could also be the thing that is where the cassette you know replaying some old shit back over and up and, and you know in your head that situation may have been stupid and you don't know how it happened um, something about the doors being open. So when I told you about the level up, um, doors closing and new doors opening. So there's a door that's completely open for you and ready for you to walk through, or you're leaving a door open for someone collective. Um, somebody saying they don't know how to tell you how they truly, truly feel. And they just love you because you, you love different or they, they love you different. Like, you know, people are jealous because they love you different. Um, something about Atlanta is significant or important. Michigan, somebody saying, thank you for challenging me. And a lot of people were sleeping on you and here go, there's no accountability somewhere. So somebody's, um, not accountable for something that they did lying, cheating or stealing. Um, thank you for challenging them. And they were sleeping on you. So some people sleeping on you, they didn't think that you had it in you. They didn't think, look, positive changes. You made lots of positive changes collective. Um, you turned the tables on a situation. Um, something about a date night and somebody wants to surprise you for a date night. Somebody wants to just show up, blindfold you and take you to a big boy mansion. Okay. Um, somebody's writing you love notes and they really want to apply pressure to you, meaning they want to step their game up on you because it's almost like they feel like you're slipping, you know, through their fingers. Somebody's saying that you're one of a kind and unicorns do exist collective. Hmm, I like this reading. All right. Somebody's saying their heart calls out for you. Somebody is famous out here, low key famous. And somebody's saying if they can only turn back time, they want to talk to you in private. So somebody is, you know, regretful of something that they did. They just want you to get clarity over a situation. Somebody's saying they are the magic. Um, yeah. Okay. And they just want to love you. So collective, that's the reading. Thank you for coming to my channel. Go with God.